let's use Simplify's long form writer to write a blog about the next big thing in community management. So I started by generating some blog ideas and titles, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the top five trends in community management to watch out for. So let's use this very first result and we'll click this plus button to add it to our long form writer. Next, we're gonna go ahead and generate a blog outline. So let's go with the blog outline and we'll put in the blog topic just by highlighting this on the long form writer and then it automatically populates here and we'll click generate. We'll move our cursor to where we want the text to fall in and then go ahead and click that plus button again. And you can see we've got the top five trends and then we have five here. So let's go ahead and write our blog introduction. We'll do the blog topic and click generate. Let's use part of this one. Okay, so we'll kind of list the five trends here and now let's go ahead and generate some sections. We'll make this bold by using some of our text tools up here at the top. You can um, choose different formatting along the way. And then let's go ahead and write a section about community manager burnout. Now, if we want this section to relate to the overall topic, what you can do is put this up here at the top and then highlight all the way up here. So we're gonna highlight all of that. You'll see here that there's a word count of 549. So Simplified allows you to put an input of up to 600 characters and here's the character count. So as you're highlighting, as long as it's 600 or less, all of that information is what Simplified is going to take into account as it's writing your section. So let's go ahead and click write section. We've got built-in Grammarly support here. I'm on the growth plan so that you can edit in real time and just make sure that you know your grammar is correct and you're using proper writing mechanics, things like that. So you'll see that down here at the bottom, the AI kind of took us into the next topic, which is the rise of social customer service. And our actual next topic is rising community management outsourcing. So we're gonna just go ahead and remove that. And then we'll put in our next topic up here. And let's go ahead and bold this one. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the section above my next section to make sure that Simplified is taking that into consideration to make sure that it's not repeating information or going too far off the rails. So we'll just highlight both of those sections and then we'll click continue. Okay, and this blurb is just not quite long enough for me, so I'm going to click continue again, but I'm only going to highlight this so that it continues along just in this section. And here I've got all kinds of content happening. So I don't need another five tips, but I can use some of this content. Great, and then let's just add in a little bit more here. Okay, so now we've got a full and juicy blog section, and now let's continue writing. We already did these two, so we can delete those. So for this one, you can see that this section is very long. And if I highlight a lot of this section, then this section is likely going to relate to community management outsourcing. And so what I'm actually gonna do is copy and paste this up underneath the introduction. So I'm gonna highlight the actual section that I wanna write, and then I'm gonna highlight the introduction and the title. And I'm at 554 characters, so that is the input that Simplified is going to consider when it's writing this section. So let's go ahead and click Write Section and see what it comes up with.
So let's go ahead and generate again. These ones, they're not my favorite, so I'm going to generate a few more um, just to see what the AI will give me. Okay, and it looks like it's introducing the rise of chatbots. So let's go ahead and move this back down. So I'm going to copy this. And I'll just move it back down to where it actually belongs, which is right here, more focus on community metrics. And then let's go ahead and add in our content. Now, if I wanted to use one of those earlier results, I could click on history. And here are those earlier results that I have generated for this blog. I'm also going to go ahead and customize this second output because it has some data and it's telling community managers exactly what they should be tracking. So let's go ahead and put that info in there because it's helpful. Great. Now this is saying the rise of chatbots and increased use of chatbots. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, instead of the community manager job description changes because that seems to be what the AI is kind of leading us into, which means that it could be what our competitors are leading us into. So we'll put the rise of chatbots. And then we're going to go ahead and select the name of this section and our previous section as well. So that simplified is taking that into consideration as it is generating. So we'll click right section. Okay, and you can notice that these outputs are generally about chatbots, but they're not necessarily about community management. And so let's go ahead and put in community management here as part of the input. So we'll put the rise of chatbots in community management. And now let's try this again. Okay, and these are just a little bit more relevant. So this is talking about and managing communities. Chatbots are becoming increasingly popular in community management as they're a great way to automate tasks and provide a better user experience. Sometimes giving the AI a few keywords about your overall topic can help it make these sections a little bit more relevant. So let's go ahead and drop in our content here. I like this one because it's giving specific examples. There are a number of ways that chatbots can be used in community management. They can be used to answer customer questions, provide customer support, and collect data about customer interactions. Okay, so that is great. And then we have our built-in Grammarly. So let's go ahead and just accept a few of these. Isn't this so easy where you can just edit it and write it all in one? Great, so we have our chatbots. We kind of replace the community manager job description changes with the rise of chatbots. And so we'll take that out because we're, again, only talking about the top five trends. So we have one, two, three, four. And then our fifth one is gonna be increased focus on customer engagement. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. We're gonna bold this as our next section. And then for this section, we're talking about increased focus on customer engagement. If I highlighted this and the section above it, it's likely going to go on a tangent about chatbots, which we don't necessarily want it to do. So what I could do is either copy and paste it up here underneath this introduction, or I can add a few keywords like increased focus on customer engagement in online communities giving the AI a few keywords so that it knows exactly what type of content you're looking for. So let's do both of those and see the outputs that the AI can come up with. And we'll click right section. Okay, and let's go ahead and make this section just a little bit longer. So we'll just highlight it and click continue to be able to have the AI continue our writing and see if we can just beef up this section a little bit more. All right, so this is talking about community managers creating content, and I think that is really great. And then it gives you some specific examples. And so I think at this point, this is a really helpful blog post that has some specific examples that are going to help people. So we can go ahead and just put that here on the end.
Great, and now let's go ahead and wrap it up with a blog conclusion. So we'll come over here and select a template, and we're gonna go with blog conclusion paragraph. And then we're gonna put in our blog topic, which was the top five trends in community management to watch out for, and we'll click generate. All right, and we've got a great little conclusion here, just wrapping it all up with a nice bow. And then if you wanted to change your call to action, you could hear whatever you're wanting them to do. Maybe it's join your online community of community managers or whatever it is that you're trying to get people to do. Now that our blog is complete, we can go back through and use our editing tools. Maybe you wanna number these, or maybe you wanted to add some media. You can add GIFs or stock photos right from Simplified by clicking on your media library. And then you could find any of your designs that you've created, any uploaded assets that you have, or choose from our stock photos and even your own Google Drive by clicking this down arrow button. If you have assets stored in Google Drive, you could do it there. Or if you wanted to be really fun and add some gifts to your blog, you could do that as well. So I hope that that was helpful when you're generating blogs and trying to get the sections to relate to each other. You just wanna highlight a little bit more as the input. And again, you can highlight up to 600 characters with Simplified's AI, and that way the AI just knows what you want it to talk about. You can also add in a few keywords to the topic that you're wanting to write a section for just like we did with the rise of chatbots and we added in in community management so that the AI would know exactly how we want to make chatbots relevant. And then of course our little hack of moving the topic you're generating up to the top so that the AI will take that into consideration in the outputs. Simplified's long form writer is available in all of our paid subscription plans. If you want to find out more about Simplified's paid subscription plans and all of the features and the value that you can get out of subscribing from Simplified, head over to simplified.com pricing and you'll be able to explore the different features, the different word limits, and of course, all of the different tools that you're getting in one low subscription price. So it's not just AI, but it's also design, it's also video editing, and it's also a built-in content calendar. Simplified's the one app for modern marketers that's helping you do more with less. Thanks for watching.